To the right are a list of terms, past and present. The term that's in green is your active term. And you can make a term active by putting a check in the box next to active and then clicking on the Submit Changes button. It's very important for each of your terms that the start and end dates are correct. If not, your attendance sheets won't reflect the correct dates. For example, if your start date should say the 2nd of September, and your actual start date of school was the 20th of August. There will be no method of taking attendance in GradeLink because GradeLink doesn't think your school starts until the 2nd of September. So it's very important that the start and end date for each of your terms be correct. Notice the term one has 18 classes in it. When it comes close to the beginning of your second term, you'll need to copy your classes from your current term into the next term. Since this is something that's only done in the case of this school three times a year, it's a very easy thing to forget. So GradeLink helps you out with this. At the top of the page, next to what looks like a light bulb, you'll see wondering how to start the next term. Click on this. It will bring up a set of instructions along with a tutorial video. Typically, GradeLink does not let you copy classes from a current term to a future term until it's roughly two weeks or so before the new term starts. Reason for this is uh, should you make a change in a class in your first trimester and you have already copied that class into the second semester, the change will not automatically update in the second trimester. You would need to go into the class for that trimester and make the change there as well. So for that reason, basically to save a great deal of work, um, GradeLink recommends that you don't copy your classes from one term to the next until about two weeks before the beginning of your next term. Once you have copied your classes from one term to the next, you'll want to deactivate your current term, which you can do by removing the check mark next to active and then clicking on Submit Changes. And then make your new term active, again, by adding a check mark in the box next to the word active and clicking on Submit Changes. And that's all for the terms page. We'll talk about how to schedule your students into classes in the next video.